Sorry about that. This is part two. But the end of my first tutorial on daffodils got cut off at the end there. So I'm pretty much finished now. I've uh, got my daffodils here. And I've signed them on the back with a salutation for my wife. And the thing about divisionism is people want something perfect like a photograph. But this is art, and art is different. It's something else, right? And um, it's not meant to be perfect. It's meant to be blurry. Um, some people this technique is lost on, and some people it just confuses because it's very complex. I'd just like to say that in, in my Vancouver paintings, which were quite large, I would use a different set of primaries for each coat of paint. So I ended up with that many more colors. They were very bright and very colorful. And um, yeah, this is small, but the technique is just as advanced as any other. Um, I'm going to varnish it now. This is the varnish I use. It's uh, non-toxic, it has no fumes. And some people would say, well, it has no fumes. You don't want to know when you've had enough, but this is indeed non-toxic. There we go. And that is a finished product. I'm just going to prop it up on some brushes so it'll dry and not stick to the table. And those are my wife's daffodils. Thank you very much. Have a good night.